after the end. Um, after two years ownership, we're finally going to do something to it. Um, sorry we haven't put a video up in a while, we've been busy with shit and shit is expensive so we haven't done much thanks to the coronavirus, we'll blame that anyway. Um, today's fucking lesson, I30N's actually going to get some attention for once and a magnificent bloke supplied me with some grade 2 titanium. Um, it is 5 inch because no one likes 4 inches, arcs you misses. Yeah so Ben Brothers supplied us with some nice 6AN fittings, I've got a bit of sheet of titanium to make some mounts up and that is grade grade 2 titanium pipe. We're going to make an intake for the I30N. This is only our little development video because we're, I'm unsure of if I should go pie cuts or get more mandrel bends because I haven't got enough to do both ends. So we'll work that out in this video and mock it up and see how I want it to sit. Old Jaden and Repco supplied us with a nice K&N filter. It was the only one we could pretty much find that was in 5 inch because no one runs 5 inch intakes. But yeah. So stay tuned. So here's our Canon filter, gladly supplied by Jaden. Thank you for him finding it. When I went through hours of Canon part numbers to try and find one, and found one that didn't exist, so thank you to him. We've got five pie cuts which make about a 45 degree angle. So that's why we've got to decide today if we're going to get more pie cuts or get more mandrel bends. Pie cuts are worth about $100 for five, whereas a mandrel bend's worth about $250. Bucks. So it works out ish the same. Um, yeah, so I don't know if all titanium's like this, but it's got a, a weld mark from where it's been um, welded together, I suppose. So that lines up the center radius, so they're all the same way. If not, you'll have fucking pie cuts that go opposite ways and it'll look like fucking shit. What we're gonna do is tape the little cunts together so I can work out if we need if I like the pie cut look or if we want to go the mandrel bends. Leave a comment and let us know what you reckon. Oh five minute crafts will frock this. Yeah. Um, if you want to um, work out how we made this great designer fucking welding chair Just click on our other videos. We'll put a link in the description and a um, little box up in the corner You can click on it is very great. We built it in five minutes. So And it's still standing surprisingly We built it so we could fix um, The WR450 so you can click on that and watch that there's a bit of fab work and a bit of titanium work on that that is the only other titanium work I've ever done, so let's see how this one turns out.
The other predicament we have, I don't really know how to cut titanium. Because I heard you can't use abrasives, because once it gets past a certain temperature, it absorbs pretty much all the shit you're trying to cut it with. So I'm not really sure how to cut it. Hopefully one of these straight bits are about the length we need, and I don't have to, but we'll work it out. If this works out, I want to make them and sell them or some shit. I don't know. Someone might want one, but... Right, so we got there's our five ply cuts together as you can see it only makes about a 45 degree angle um, that's what we got to work out because I don't have enough pie cuts to make another 90 to put the air cleaner on it or do I just get another mandrel bend so we got to work that out um, there's probably there's enough mandrel bends here really but oh well. um, so now this one here is nearly the perfect size for what I want so that will sit there like that as I said earlier you got that welded seam which I want to line all the seams up because it might look like it, but I am a bit of a perfectionist. So we'll fucking give that old tape up there. You're probably like, ooh, why are you fucking taping it? Uh, since this is so fucking dear, and if you don't know how much titanium is worth, go give it a fucking look up. One of these, the bigger bit of that straight there, I think 500 mils of titanium is worth like $350 so I'd rather waste my time taping it up and wasting five bucks worth of masking tape than waste $300 worth of titanium rather than cut it up and have no idea what I'm fucking doing so yeah that's why we're putting tape on it so there's that um the other thing you're probably bitching about is why is like brush finish where is that polished I don't know they're scrapped from some exhaust joint in Canberra I got it from it's all I could really afford, I couldn't afford brand new shit, so if I use that, I'll just polish that side of it, and then it will match, so yeah. So now we got to work out is, because that will fit there pretty good, so that will go down to the turbo there. Um, the other issue I had too is finding a, a 5 inch reducer to go to the front of the turbo pipe. I did find one, but it only went to 3.5 inch, so I'm probably going to pull the front off the turbo. Um, as you can see on these, it's not like just a normal fitting. It's an actual flange, then they got that aluminium pipe down there. So what I'll probably do is either cut that off or I'll just make a new one up. It's no big deal really. We'll sit that there and then we'll put that's not quite 90 either. It's like fucking a little bit off. It's probably like fucking 74. Just a bit plain nice. But as I said, these are off off cuts. Mm, very nice. As you can see, that's going to make the airplane a sitting in there, so... Which... I'll have to, if I really want to run mandrels, I'll probably have to get two mandrels anyway, because I um, don't like the look of if we just have that there, because it looks like you've half used pie cuts and half used a fucking mandrel. And I don't really want it to look like it's made out of off cuts, like it does at the moment. So there we have it. We'll whack it on now and drop it away. Um, so as you can see, it's going to sit like that. It won't really sit up that high because I'll pull all that other shit off it and pull the actual intake and the airbox out of the end. And you're probably wondering, how am I going to go with this stupid little blow-off pipe if everyone else in the end world runs a dose plate, which is a plate that goes between the intercooler piping and the blow-off valve. It can't actually blow off any air. So I'm not putting that pipe back on it because it doesn't get used anyway. Um, and it's an eyesore. This also has a turbo smart blow off valve on it, but it doesn't work because as I said, I've made a dose plate for it. So yeah. Um, the other thing you're probably wondering about is what about these two PCV valves here? Like as you can see, it goes from the engine back to the intake there. They will be getting used. Um, our marvelous Ben brothers gave me some grade two titanium 6AN fittings. I've got a welding that pipe. 
So I'll weld those into there, and then I'll be able to run that piece of V-pipe, and I'll use some Aeroflow um, AN fittings, and also some Aeroflow braided hose, and it will give it a bit of extra fucking wank factor, and it will look a bit neater too. But here's our k and filter. As you can see, we had trouble trying to find something in five inch. Like I can nearly fit my head into it. Um, that's what we want. I wanted a K&N because they're washable and reusable, and that will probably outlast the engine. K&N's good shit. So whack that on there. I won't tighten it up because it couldn't be fucked, to be honest. So that's kind of how it will sit. So yeah, I've got to work out, should I run pie cuts there, or should I get another mandrel for there? I personally reckon pie cuts because I'm going to burn it and give it the burnt finish because why else do you use titanium unless you want the factor of that? But yeah, what do you reckon? Another mandrel or pie cuts? And then that will sit nice in there, it will sit flush, I'm going to fuck that air box off. Um, we'll have to make mounts for it, and yeah, it should make it dose a bit harder with the size of the intake pipe. Apologize for not making a video sooner. Um, this shit is very expensive and we can't really afford to do videos all the time. We don't do it for a job or anything, we actually have a life beside this, so. Yeah, stay tuned for more i30N. Brumby will be getting stuff sooner. I finally found a set of rims for it to go to 14 inch sun raises, but the bloke won't reply back to me or anything on the postage of them or anything like that. So that's why nothing's happened to the Brumby for a while. We've also got a Hilux coming here for some extra work. Um, so yeah, we'll get onto that and hopefully get some more videos out soon. Thanks for watching.